how do we do this in a three-day class? How do we look into all this? Well, let me go over to this easel and show you um, how we do what we do. Okay, so starting uh, over the three-day course, uh, you'll have an opportunity to work on the physical side. You'll have an opportunity to work on the mental side, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. I'll break these down into different areas that you'll have an opportunity to focus on. On the physical side, we start in the area of health. And one of the reasons we start here is because we believe that if you're in poor health, it's really difficult to enjoy anything in life. So health is very, very, very important. Matter of fact, there was a, uh, a great book written by a doctor, Dr. Barry Fox, who wrote a book called Wake Up, You're Alive. And Dr. Barry Fox said that in his 30 years of family practice, he, suffered, he, he treated more people suffering from worry, tension, and stress than any disease he treated. And that takes us into the next part here uh, about stress. You have an opportunity to examine, you know, how do you uh, handle or deal with stress? Uh, there's a lot of stress in our life uh, right now. And stress a lot of times is caused by our life being out of balance. And so you'll have an opportunity to take a look at how much stress do you have in your life? How do you deal with stress? And we, you'll actually learn some tools and techniques in the basic seminar to deal with stress more effectively. Uh, you're never going to eliminate it. Stress is always going to be part of our life. Uh, so you're always going to have it there. The thing is, are you responding to stress or are you reacting to stress? Okay, that's the physical side. Then on the mental side, uh, we, uh, you get a chance to take a look at things like your thought process or your thinking, as I talked about over there. You get an opportunity to work on, to work on your career, take a look at your career. Uh, uh, you get an opportunity to work on wealth. Um, you know, are you creating the wealth that you want in your life and the financial liberty? And uh, also, you get a chance to work on imagination, creativity, visualization, and all of these, you know, especially visual creativity and visualization plays into problem solving, which uh, really uh, could help you be more effective in your career. But imagination, Albert Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Uh, creativity, you know, uh, uh, creativity ties into imagination. Everything that you see in this room, the chairs that you see, uh, the easel, everything that you see in this room started in somebody's imagination and then it became a reality. And uh, also visualization. Um, this is something that we did quite often when we were younger. When we were children, we always worked with our imagination and, and visualization. And as we get older, we often work with visualization also. You know, if you have a child on the way, you might visualize how you want uh, the baby's room to look. Or if you're moving into a new home, you might visualize how you want the home to look. Uh, but we'll work with some visualization so that um, you could become more effective at actually visualizing and creating what it is you want uh, in your life. Uh, this is for the emotional side, uh, the emotional side which deals with our, our feelings and uh, the emotional side de deals with our relationship. The emotional side is, uh, is such a, uh, a multiplier. It's, such, it's where the, the passion comes from. It's where um, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, you've run into magnetic people or people that are passionate about something. And that comes from the emotions. Also, we have an, uh, yet have an opportunity to work on relationships. What kind of relationships? All relationships. Relationship with family. You know, if you're married, your spouse, uh, children, um, you get to have an opportunity to work with uh, brothers and sisters, uh, your immediate family, your sibling. Uh, you have an opportunity relationships to work on relationship with friends, coworkers. We spend an awful lot of time in our career, in our work, and uh, you'll have an opportunity to take a look at the relationships with the people that you work with. If you're going to spend a lot of time at work, wouldn't it uh, be worth it to work with people and be around people that you enjoy being around? So uh, also in the area of relationships, you got family, friends, coworkers, Probably the biggest relationship you'll have an opportunity to take a look at is the relationship you have with yourself. 
What I mean by that is the relationship that you have with yourself, the level of self, self-respect, self-esteem, self-confidence plays a large part in what kind of relationships you attract to you. And so, uh, matter of fact, the relationship that you have with yourself, many times in the basic seminar, people will discover that the most powerful, the most influential, the most important person they will ever talk to in their, in their life is themselves. You know, uh, I often ask people, do you talk to yourself? A lot of people will actually think about it and say, hmm, do I talk to myself? I don't know if I talk to myself. Yeah, we always talk to ourselves. The question is, what is our internal dialogue? Our internal dialogue, is it supporting us and moving forward and taking risks and growing, stretching and growing? Or is our entire internal dialogue keeping us safe or, or um, uh, keeping us from doing the things we want to do? Uh, this PSE stands for personal self-expression. Uh, personal self-expression meaning in the basic seminar, you know, prior to the basic seminar, I often would think one thing and then feel something else. Sometimes we call it feelings or intuition or men call it gut instinct. Uh, I'd think one thing, I'd feel something else, and then I'd do something else completely different. Well, in the basic seminar, you'll have an opportunity to get your thoughts, your feelings, your actions all in alignment, all congruent. And when that happens, people could get a lot more done without the internal struggles, without the, um, uh, you know, the indecision and the lack of clarity. Uh, I've seen people when they really do get congruent with their thoughts, their feelings, and their actions, they could accomplish so much more, uh, a lot easier and more effectively. Uh, this, the S is for the spiritual side. Uh, not spiritual in a religious sense, because Psy Seminars is tied into no uh, specific religion. Spiritual in a sense of community, connection, contribution, uh, you know, being of service. Uh, on the spiritual side, uh, oftentimes we've found people that have come into the basic seminar that have really, um, you know, gotten clear about maybe getting behind a cause that's bigger than they are. And so... Uh, this on the spiritual side, it's all about community, connection, contribution. And something else I want to tie back into relationships here. Uh, I think right now we're living in a world where we're seeing so much technology change and things are changing so fast. Uh, I might see, or my son might see, uh, you know, so much change in one year that I, that it took 10 years for me to experience. I probably experienced more change, uh, you know, in 10 years than my parents, uh, experienced in a hundred years. So things change is happening rapidly. Technology is changing very, very quickly. I think one thing that'll never change though is the relationships that we have with people. It's still going to take, no matter what happens with technology, no matter how much things change, uh, an important part of being effective in business in our career is going to be the relationships we have with people. That will never change.